16 years ago, dozens of New Mexicans went to New Orleans to provide help to people left without homes. And today we caught up with one of them who tells us the images he's seeing of Hurricane Ida brings back some tough memories. Darren White is worried because he has not heard from this man. I know that he evacuated, but uh, he's from a small community called Golden Meadow. And, and it took a direct hit from, from Ida, a direct hit. Now, there's no way to get a hold of anybody. I mean, the phones are all down, there's no power. It'll probably be a few days before we learn. 16 years ago, the former Bernalillo County Sheriff and Daryl Bryan, a Louisiana airboat operator, became close friends. The two men met when White took a group of 30 sheriff's deputies to New Orleans just days after Hurricane Katrina. I don't have to describe in detail just how um, it, it, was a, it was an awful sight. And it was hard to imagine that you're in a, a city as big as New Orleans in, in the United States of America. Brian operated an airboat that took White and his deputies all over the flooded city. The two have stayed in touch over the years and had talked just before Ida hit. I know that they evacuated, um, and but I just don't know what the what 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 happened. What's the result of the storm going, uh, you know, through their. Uh, through their community. Seeing the images of Ida reminded him of the strong bond he formed during one of the worst disasters. As we were there uh, in that most difficult time for New Orleans, many of us had said this. There's a connection now to New Orleans. White says since Katrina, he has been back to the city several times. He believes the reason Ida is not as devastating is because of the precautions that have been put in place since Katrina.